Previously on Super Cringe Roleplay. If you tell me to cough twice and turn my head, I'm gonna hit you. Hold on, this will just take a second. <laughs> the problem with your train of thought is you're you. Thought I was about to have quite a swift Nancy Pelosi. Mr. Burden, if we go on this journey, I swear I will never stop believing. <laughs> Don't stop believing. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be here for this episode. I just hope they have many healthy, ugly babies. <laughs> Would you like me to just stand here awkwardly and watch? That's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to him. Go to shake his hand. Nice fight. <laughs> <laughs> and now, back to our story. Hello, welcome back to Super Cringe Roleplay. I'm the Game Master, Aaron Hannington. I'm joined here with Mikey and Chris. Greetings. Howdy. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't write anything <laughs> ahead of time. Howdy. Big old Texas howdy. <laughs> and Nat and Clint. Hello, my learned friends. Hola. Hey, you guys mind if I do a shout out to my homies? Absolutely. Hero Brown, this is for you. Gamers for God, Azriel, Angel Bear, Cognitive Discourse. Who am I forgetting? Michael Wentworth. Michael, Eric. Yep, Eric. Our boys. This one's for you guys. <laughs> Thanks for having our backs. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Here's to you guys. Thanks for always joining us. And if you're new here, you can always join us on Wednesdays during the premiere and chat with us directly. Yeah. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. I'd also like to throw out a little shout out to my homeboys, uh, Little Nuck Nuck, uh, Pole Boy, <laughs> uh, Little Axelrod, he in there too. Um, and when I'm forgetting. All right. <laughs> <laughs> on on Just... D block, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't check my cape. <laughs> How's the cape? Good. All right. It's on brand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we wasted enough time. All right, recap it. All right. So uh, our party last left off. Tria North, the uh, uh, burden and, and jokester went down to the uh, the pit, uh, had it out, beat each other up, slap each other around a little bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> um, uh, they had a, an archery tournament uh, where uh, uh, Jokeser took that and Nocturnal uh, threw a little bit of smoke and escaped away without paying his debts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> they... Uh, had a little altercation between Burden and uh, Nocturnal uh, due to that, and uh, they retrieved their, some of them retrieved their magical weapons. Uh, they did level up after last ep episode, so they are now level five, and uh, 
you guys are getting ready to uh, go to the Caves of Chaos to help Burden with his curse. That is where we'll pick up. Gentlemen, what would you like to do? I still got my ear to the wall. Listening? Yes. You're still hidden. Gonna back out of there and go to the bar. Okay. (laughs) It's where I belong. (laughs) All right. So you go to their little tavern area. (laughs) What's everybody else wanting to do? I guess I'm still just kind of aimlessly wandering around trying to find everybody because I have no idea where they went. I'm not hiding anymore. Okay. And we're still with Amethyst. Yeah. Was there any other business you need to attend to, Mr. Burden? No, no, I don't think so. I got my weapon. I'm uh, ready for the trials that lie ahead of us. Excellent. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to speak to the good madam privately for a moment. But of course, Doctor. And I leave. Okay. Roll a perception roll for me, jokester. Nine. Okay. Um, crossing through the the uh, tavern area, you do see Nocturnal sitting at the bar drinking. Oh. Hey. Hi, buddy. Old pal. How you doing, jokester? Oh, I'm just swell. You look well rested. Mm hmm. How are you? He doesn't know about the altercation, does he? No. Doing all right. Can't complain. Good. Not go. good, but I have more class than that. I'm going to go sit down next to him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, might you buy me a round? Sure. Why not? Cool. I, I really appreciate it. Because we need to square up at some point. <laughs> Can I do sleight of hand to leave 100 gold pieces on the table? Absolutely. But I wanted to say, F you. So, do a sleight of hand in a performance check. <clears throat> 17. Okay, now do a performance check. See how well you write it out. Seven. (laughs) So, the words come out. Let me verify. Plus zero, seven. (laughs) My bad. So, so the words come out not readable, but there's an F. Uh, There is a U visible, but everything else... Not really sure what it says. <laughs> Fuh. It's worth a shot. <laughs> Fuh. I don't know why you did that, but... Uh... Here's your gold. I need my bow back. Thank you. I believe you have it. I believe I do have your property. <laughs> Give him his bow back. Okay. Do I need to write up anything? No. <laughs> All right. So you guys settle up your debt. <laughs> Don't tell Burden about this. <laughs> Where are you heading, Burden, when you leave Amethyst's lab? Um. Anywhere special? No, no. I'm going to go head back to the sleeping quarters and just wait for the mission to get started. I... Internally, I'm nervous because I'm cursed, you know? I mean, I was going to take that news lightly, so I'm just going to kind of focus on the tasks ahead of me. Okay. As he's walking out, do I notice that? Uh, you can do a perception check. Not an insight? <laughs> well, you can do an insight. I'll let you do an insight. 23. Yeah, it's high. Um, 23. Yeah. You notice it. Just making a mental note of that for later. Okay. Door closes behind him. You're alone with Amethyst. We appreciate the work that you've been doing for us so far. We're getting ready to head out for a few days. I just wanted to see if the item that we had agreed upon will be ready upon my return. It will. And it will be special. 
I'm sure will exceed my expectations. I hope so. I bid you a good day, madam. Yes, you too. Be careful in the caves. They will mess with your mind. <clears throat> Thank you very much. And I just, I leave and I head down toward the bars. Okay. Uh, Burden, you uh, make it to the, uh, the sleeping quarters. No issues. Uh, you're kind of chilling out, meditating. Doctor, you uh, get to the, the tavern and jokes are in, in uh, Nocturnal sitting there enjoying a brew. Good doctor. Might you have any idea where Mr. Burden is? He left a few moments before I did. I am not quite sure where he went. Huh. Uh, I got something to give to him. So I'm just gonna wander off, start looking around for him. Alright, good is, perception check. This thing that you're gonna give to him, is it something that can be said in good company? Sure. <laughs> Figure he can make much better use out of it than I can. Of that, we can agree, Mr. Jokester. Do I overhear this? Yeah, you're sitting right there. Gonna give him Lucy? Why would you do that? I want to make sure our beef is squashed. Trying to bury the hatchet. And... I think it'll come in handy to help us out as well in the long run. So there's no desire for him to compensate you in any way after you provide this to him? Nope. Insight check? Mm-hmm. If oh, you're no. deceiving, you can do a deception I'm, roll. If not, then you're good. I rolled a one. You're fine. <laughs> not natural way. one. Not deceiving. You you believe he's telling the truth? <laughs> not everything is about money. The jokester is telling the truth. <laughs> Get those dad ones out early. <laughs> Didn't take long. All right, so I'm going to go and search for him. Okay. Do a perception check. Nat 20. <laughs> you go right to his room, well. <laughs> knock upon his door, and <laughs> you hear knocking upon your door. Who is it? It's your best friend. Doctor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You sound different. <laughs> Your other best friend. Nocturnal. <laughs> it's My right hand is right here. <laughs> oh, the doctor outranks the Jeez. hand. <laughs> oh. oh, no. That sounds a lot. <laughs> Don't read too much into what that. What do you do on those late night guard duties? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We don't talk about that right now. Not for another ten minutes, five minutes or so. <laughs> All right, kid, can I come in? Oh, you. Yes, me. Yeah, I guess. I open the door, walk on in. What business have you here? Oh, after everything that happened, you must have, I mean, you won the battle. And, uh, I still definitely got a moral victory there. What's must, your point? Must have been humiliating. <clears throat> but my point is, I hope you got it all out of your system. And I just really want to bury the hatchet. For good. Wrong hatchet. I'd like to present you a little something peace offering. It'll also come in handy to help our group. <laughs> I knew it. Roll for initiative. <laughs> oh. Hello, my learned friends. 
Dr. Brandon Straw here. If you're still watching the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're so inclined, we have a Patreon that you're more than welcome to join. Links down below. And now, back to the show. Oh. Do we have to... Is this some sort of trick? <laughs> Nailed it. Nope, no trick. I just got it upgraded too. By the way, we got a remake because I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> 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 but. Hmm. Your tribute is accepted. Don't cross me and there will be no problems. I don't cross anybody. I double. Um. <laughs> what was that? I said, I double dog dare you to accept my offering and move on from this. Very well. It is done. Bid you a good day then. I'm sorry, I forgot you were here. You may go now. <laughs> I walk away. All right. <laughs> Anybody doing anything special? I am going to need the stats on this, though. Yeah. Right, when I use it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Nocturnal, how do you think those two are doing? Oh, they're probably killing each other again. Seems to be the common theme. I just come walking back down. <laughs> Jokester enters in. Hi, guys. Uh, when did you leave? <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were still here. <laughs> it's a natural stealth. <laughs> M Mr. Jokester, now that you're back, would you mind going for a walk for a few moments? Uh, sure. Just gonna go... Walk around aimlessly. Doc's gonna check my prostate. <laughs> don't wanna be here for this. You see me pulling a glove? <laughs> yeah, I'll be going. <laughs> As he walks away, I start pulling the glove off. Now that the riffraff is gone, Mr. Nocturnal. <laughs> I was curious about something that happened the other day. Yeah, what's that? I noticed that when you were having the disagreement with paying Mr. Burden to Mr. Jokester, you attacked Mr. Burden. What? It's news to me. What are you talking about? I was there, right? Yeah, you I actually I... rolled to see if you saw it. You did. He was there. There's there's no point, Miss Nocturnal. I saw it with my own two eyes. But it's an accident. Insights. <laughs> <laughs> Deception for you. <laughs> Nine. I beat you. Eleven plus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> There's no need to lie to me, Mr. Nocturnal. I. <sighs> he accidentally got on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> that seems more reasonable. <laughs> but I've noticed some changes with you, both externally and potentially internally. J -j 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 <laughs> I'm not sure what you're going on about. Is there something that we need to discuss? Because we're going to be on this dangerous mission for Mr. Burden for a few days. I just want to make sure that everything is good between all of us. We're fine. I can lead this party. You'll get no trouble from me. I shall hold you as a man of your word, Mr. Nocturnal. Ooh. I am nothing if not a man of my word. <laughs> <laughs> Insight check on that last statement. <laughs> God, it's like you know me. Four. It was it was over twenty. <laughs> so you know he's lying through his teeth again. <laughs> All right, Mr. Nocturnal, I believe you implicitly. Sounds good, Doc. 
What do you say? We make like a tree and branch on out of here. What time is it now? <laughs> um, you're looking probably mid morning. Mid morning. Uh, Ten ish. Well, we should find Mr. Burden and just Mr. Bur no, we should find Mr. Jokester as well. Yeah. And head out on a mission. Go track down the regulators. He's literally been walking around the background. Just, he's, just when he said aimlessly, it's aimlessly. Just, just kind of back and forth waving. I'm, I'm like, I'm like Beavis when he goes into Cornholio, <laughs> just walking around, it's pacing. Oh, there you are, Mr. Jokester. Oh, hi. Did you happen to find Mr. Burden? I did. Where was he? The sleeping quarters. Thank you. I'm going to head up to the sleeping quarters. Okay. You head up to the sleeping quarters. Who is it? Your best bud. Oh, doctor, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I go inside. All right. <clears throat> yes, what can I do for you? Mr. Burden, I am quite well aware that Mr. Nocturnal has not paid you <clears throat> your gold. Yes. We're going to be going on this mission for you. Yes. I'm just wondering if there's going to be any concerns while we're out. No. You were kind enough to donate the gold. So, and I, I kind of feel like this mission is vital to my existence. So, yeah, there will be no problems during the mission. I would agree. I've been doing some research into curses and obviously you wouldn't want to have one, but mm -hmm. I say the sooner we get rid of this one, the better for you. Agreed. But I guarantee you this, I will be paid in full, and I will collect damages. By the way, did you see the new uh, present that the jokester gave me? No, by all means, share. Oh, that thing. I call it the Bat Smasher. <laughs> Does it smash other similar looking objects? It, it can. I, I was thinking of a, you know, different thing, meaning about it, but... I suppose with the bludgeoning implement, it could smash anything that you swing it at. Yes, especially bats. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yes. Just cave their tiny little foreheads straight on in. It's a good right. thing I upgraded my armor. <laughs> Not the back part of it. The helmet of <laughs> impenetrableness. Very well, Mr. Burden. I turn to leave and then, oh, there is one other thing. Yes, Doctor. I pull out the ring. Mr. Burden. Doctor. I, I acquired this while you were unconscious. I am shocked. And I shocked, I tell you. <laughs> well, not that shocked. And I wanted to speak to you about this. I have been doing research on magical objects. And while I think it would be handy in your hands, I think, since I am the one that keeps everyone alive, as I'm sure you would agree... Yes. It may be more useful in my hands. Now, this is your decision. I have filled it with level one healing word spells, and you're more than welcome to have it back. But if I keep it, I can make sure that everyone is healthy. Keep it, Doctor. Just keep bringing me back after I inevitably go down. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I reach into my bag. You can have these, and I hand him the two uh, level one healing word scrolls. Okay. Ooh. They work the same way as the ring. Thank you for this. Now I don't have to kill you. It has been a pleasure, Mr. Burden. Mm. I believe we're getting ready to leave soon. Good. The other two schlubs are at the bar. Uh, of course. <coughs> Fine, let's go join them. All right. Y'all could at least Back surprised. <laughs> no. No, there's no surprise there. Alright, so you guys all gather together at the bar. Yep. Mm. Yep. <laughs> sure. So how deep are we right now, Mr. Nocturnal? To find deep. And what? How many beverages? Just one. Inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's coffee. <laughs> I swear. Four. 
14. <laughs> Were you lying? Maybe. <laughs> One it is. <laughs> well, gentlemen, when you are ready, I am ready. Let's fill up our water skins. Okay. Get ready. Check my gear, check my rations. All right. You guys check all your equipment, fill up your water skins. I need to, uh, my water skin that has the poison in it, uh -huh. I need to transfer it over to my vials that's okay. in my belt. Okay. Yeah, you get uh, what you have left. You probably have five vials that you fill. No problem. I'm going to fertilize the tree before we leave. <laughs> it is a big tree, Mr. Burden. I have a big tummy. <laughs> a big colon. <laughs> All right, so you guys check your gear. <laughs> gear check. Fill your water, water uh, skins and fertilize the tree. You head off. We're all just standing there in a line next to him, fertilizing the tree. Is there real bathrooms, or is this like a hole in the no, tree? No, there's real bathrooms. Here. <laughs> oh, where's the fun in that? <laughs> of course there are bathrooms. I've been using them since we got here. You hadn't noticed until now? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I've totally been doing that this whole time. <laughs> Still looking Burton's quarters. <laughs> I thought that was a litter box. I was wondering what that smell was when I went up there. I thought it smelled feminine in here. <laughs> <laughs> so we head out. <laughs> All right, so you guys get trekking. <laughs> I'll lead the way. All right. I'll be second. party started. Assuming you're after the doctor and you're bringing up the rear. You know it. All righty. <laughs> Did we get a map to the place? Yes. Yeah, they, they explained how to get there. So, as you guys are traveling, um, you make pretty good uh, uh, distance the, the first day. Uh, nothing happens. Um, do a perception roll when you get a chance, Nocturnal. Guidance? Okay. I'll pause my beverage. <laughs> That's no problem. <laughs> it's good to maintain your priorities. 25. Okay. You find a, uh, a really good place to, uh, to camp for the night just before the sun goes down. Uh, it's next to a small pond. Um, it's an outcropping of stones surrounded by some trees. Um, it's a really good place that you're very well hidden and you have a pretty good view of the area. My merry men, gather round. Has found us lodgings for tonight. Sort of. Looks like an excellent campsite. What do you say? It's adequate. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. Jokester, you agreeable? Sure. Let's get a fire going. Start setting up camp. You said there's a pond? Yes. I think I'm gonna go fishing. Okay. With my arrows. Okay. So. We have string. What do you. I was think tie a string to my arrows okay. and try and get us some food for the evening. Okay. While someone else makes a fire. All right. You track on down to the, the pond. Um, you see some fish swimming around in there. Um, take a. You can take a shot. I'm going to look for the uh, largest one I can find. All righty. Eleven. Okay. So you, your first shot goes into the water. Wait a minute. You miss. Can he use steady aim? He can next turn. <laughs> next try. <laughs> Got to remember that. Roll for initiative. <laughs> I just... Um, roll oh perception as you're bringing that in. Uh oh. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Sure. Bring it in. You don't see anything. 
as you reach down to, to pick up your arrow from the water. Oh no. Huh. Uh, does a Nessie 12 or in. a 16 hit? 16. 16. <laughs> <laughs> Started off swimmingly. <laughs> yeah. Get it. I get it. You take You're welcome. seven points of bludgeoning damage Ooh. as a giant crayfish snags a hold of your left hand. And I need you to roll for initiative. How Ooh. far away from the pond are we? You're about 100 feet away at the campsite. Do we hear a jokester screaming like a little girl? Only if he says he screams like a little girl. 23. Okay, so you're going to be going first. So it wasn't a koi pond. <laughs> going to be getting some etouffee here pretty soon. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm going to pull my short sword. Okay. Let's try and stab it right in its stupid exoskeleton. <laughs> It's a big exoskeleton. Care to be more specific? <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> All right. So you, you take your short sword, you're hitting it on top of the the, the shell. Just doesn't crack. Doesn't take any damage. Yeah. Doing anything else? Uh, guess I'm going to scream like a little baby. Tip to move back. 30 feet. Just gonna move? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Have you learned nothing from me? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that would be a 21. <laughs> <laughs> well, you will be missed. That will be eight points of damage. When you die, can I have your daggers? <laughs> 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 and then. It comes, you move your full 30 feet. Asking for a friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. It will give chase. Oh, it does not give too much of a chase. It fumbles as it comes flying out of the water. Somehow it loses its footing and it just kind of sprawls out a little bit. So you're 30 feet away from it. Okay. And... Pull out my long bow and take a shot. Mm, Short bow. I need you to... You have both bows on you? Yeah. You travel. Okay, you can do your short bow because uh, take out your short sword, you dropped your bow. That's oh, right, you were yeah, fishing. That's right. Okay, short bow it is. Gentlemen, I am looking forward to this fish dinner. The <laughs> three of you can roll perception roll. So yum, yum. See this going on. Roll up. 25. Okay, that hits. 17. You see it. 15. You see it. Six. You're just watching the fire. <laughs> it's pretty. Doc, eight points of damage. Okay. Jokes are central trouble again. Yes, Mr. Nocturnal, I saw. Should we just sit here? <laughs> it's It's one crayfish. How much damage could it really do? <laughs> Wait, did you say that the jokester is in tr trouble? <clears throat> he appears to be battling a crayfish, and I just point. <laughs> you could take a, a shot at it as it retreats back into the water. Okay. Short bow again. Twenty-five. That hits. I'm playing the most epic music here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the boss battle <laughs> again. Eight points of damage. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys have one reaction before it goes into the water. 
I just readjust my feet and lean back a little bit. Okay. This is my reaction. All right. <laughs> I spring into action. Come on, BS. We're going to go save some jokester. All right. You don't have the stats. Oh, I don't have the stats. It's plus two, right? Yes. It's plus two? Yeah. So it's a plus two club, essentially. Got it. Wait, did it have anything else going no, on with it? Just plus two club. Plus two club? Hey, that'll work. Thought he enchanted it with Sonic Boom. No. No. No, I just added his axe, damage. His oh. axe, Thunder Wave. Oh, that's right. No, I just made it to where it was deal more damage. Gotcha. My apologies. Carry on. It's okay. Just don't let it happen again. So as uh, <laughs> you run down towards the water, the uh, crayfish disappears underneath the water. Ha. Once again, I was able to intimidate my foe into a treat. <laughs> Exactly what happened. Buddy, you saved me. You're welcome. Hey, Doc. Think you're smart enough to use Thunder Wave in the water? That would kill all the fish. That would be like dynamite fishing, wouldn't it, Mr. Nocturnal? That'd be interesting. Let's see if he's smart enough to do it. I don't hear that, so the idea never even crosses my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still hungry. Moron. In your, in your bow is next to the water. Jackass. Well. Simple Jack over here. I'll make my way back up to the water. Okay. To retrieve my bow. All right. Do a perception roll. Ten. You don't see the crayfish? Seems like he's gone. I just pick up my bow then. <laughs> oh, here come those dice. <laughs> you didn't see the megalodon. <laughs> hiding in. There's 20, always a big 21 fish. to hit. Oh, dear God. <laughs> so it does six points of damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and this time it has you around your right ankle, and it's actually trying to pull you in this time. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Pardon you. You're right there. You do see this happening. <laughs> um, so you can do something if you wish. Oof. And then it'll be your turn afterwards. <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? Um. <laughs> Got a new axe. Have fun with it. You heard the man. <laughs> Let's try this baby out. Doc, please don't hit me. <laughs> I'm going to try not to. Thanks. <laughs> Doc, do you see this shit? <sighs> All right, so I raise my axe up. You see me reading one of the books from the library. And I try to swing it down, you know, up on the claw away from his leg. Okay. And so I'm going to try to hit him there. Okay. How big is this crayfish? About uh, six feet long. Oh, hell. <laughs> that, that that claw will be all we need. <laughs> 18. 18 is exactly what you need to hit. Perfect. Ooh. I like this new axe. And then for my bonus action, why not? I'm going to thunder wave it back into the water. Okay. Uh, I would have asked the question if so, uh, Jokester in the water? Jokester, you need to make a dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Did you ever give the damage? Oh, no, I didn't. No, he did not yet. Oh, Doc, so the, the good news is we'll be eating something tonight. <laughs> what, what am I rolling? <laughs> dexterity save. Oh, dear God. <laughs> At least my dex is high. I have to maintain my standard standards, Mr. Nocturnal. 22. All right, so both the him and the crayfish succeed. Okay. So they take half damage, and neither one of them are knocked back. Uh, well, the damage for the axe hit was eight. Okay. And so for the thunder wave. To be clear, the thunder wave came from the axe itself? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yes, he activated the uh, special ability. Ooh, he's like Thor. <laughs> Just... No, no, More no, feminine. just a little bit of stretching and I'll be all right. 
<laughs> Do I have a stutter or a slur? And then uh, it's eight a feet from the wave, so. And that was halved? Are you signaling uh, no, something to me? Four. Okay, so you take four points of damage, not, uh, jokester. Sorry, buddy, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Gator. What's wrong with my gator? There's a gator? Yes, alligator. <laughs> alligator, that's exactly what I'm saying. <sighs> Better. Definitely. <laughs> so Love the, that new mask. So, Jokester, as you get Shut up. thunder-waved, <laughs> it is your turn. <laughs> Ouch. I said don't hit me. I missed with the axe. <laughs> we definitely hear the thunder wave. Fair oh, enough. yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Crack of thunder. <laughs> I roll my eyes and stand up. <laughs> Mr. Nocturnal, we should probably assist them. All right, short sword time. Okay. Let's pull it out and attempt to chop at that same joint. All right. Not fucking 20. All right, you hit with a solid hit. Ah, right, look, he's fine. So that'd be double damage. Ooh. Uh, so that'd be 18 points of damage. Nice. I'll tell you what, Doc. I'll fire off a shot from here. We're only 100 feet away. Yeah. Try it from here. I'll stay sitting. <laughs> <laughs> so can thing, I can thing. I can I see him getting ready no, from back, where I'm your at? Your back is to him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Actually, neither one of you see this coming, so oh. you have disadvantage because you're sitting. Steady aim, balance it. Yes. So you'll have a straight roll. Oh boy. It doesn't look good. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as you do your swing. Your, your short sword goes into that joint about halfway through, and this arrow comes and bounces off your short sword and flies across, almost hitting Burden in the face. <laughs> it was worth a shot. <laughs> what, the, what the hell was that? I don't know, but it almost ruined the show. <laughs> it killed the moneymaker. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a real Greek tragedy. So... I need you to do a strength check for me. Oh, God. Of course. Five. All right. <laughs> so, Burden, you see the jokester get ripped off from his feet, and he's in the water about 15 feet away. So you have one action. You can either try to grab a hold of jokester, or you can attack the crayfish. Start swimming. Oh, what should I do? No, seriously, someone tell me what should I do. I don't know. I, I've never fought in water before. Oh, no, wait, I have, but it just ended terribly. Um, Maybe it'll be th better this time. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to try to grab for the jokester and try to, like, grab him and heave him back on land. Do a strength check for me. With gusto. Dirty 21. <laughs> Am I using that phrase right? Or? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> sure. When you yeah. say it, Burden, it's fine. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> All right, so you grab a hold of Jokester. He's no longer going further into the water, but he's about uh, shoulder deep into the water mm. with you holding on. <laughs> um You've seen those medieval racks before, right? Oh, yeah. Where someone's pulling from one direction and someone's pulling from the other direction. <laughs> oh, good God. Just keep giving them ideas. That's where you get giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> Either one of you want to do anything? I already stood up. I'm going to start walking towards the... Okay. It'll take you a couple turns to get there. Yeah. 20 <sighs> feet at a time. <laughs> God. All right. I'll walk with the doctor. I'm only going to use half movement with him. 
Okay. You're just going to keep pace with me? <laughs> you guys, you guys are whistling. Down. Whistling day. Leave it to Beaver theme. <laughs> On our way down to the fishing pond. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. That's the one. <laughs> jokes, jokes. Your turn. What would you like to do? You're being hauled underneath the water. Burdens get you by the shoulders, trying to pull you out. Well, then there literally is not a damn thing I can do. <laughs> you you can still try to break free. You can do a strength check to see if you can break free. You never know. It might work. That's literally my only option. He's got, like, both my arms and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Crayfish has my legs. I can't you grab can a weapon. <laughs> Do that one point of damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta break free. Three. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, good lord. So it's going to do another pull with you, and its other one, it'll attack you. Oh, I'm standing. Misses you with an eight. Huh. Um, I need you to do a strength check. <sighs> Come on, let me see that big old five. Nat 20. Go ahead and say it. Nat 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> boy. Nice. All right. About time. So, uh, and you have a zero on that, though, right? On the strength, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. You lose a little bit of ground, but not as much as you you would have. Um, you're 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 about chin deep in water now. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Burden, it is your turn. Jokester seem to have managed to help you not go underwater. Appreciate it. Am I able to strike the? Uh, if you let go of him, the crest street. Mm. You either pull on him or you attack the, the crayfish. Well, I'll try to pull you out one more time. Did we switch to a, a lake or pond background for this? I think that has a no. <laughs> he just rips me right in half. <laughs> uh, dirty 22. <laughs> That's a hit. Or, no, you're oh, pulling. Sorry, pulling. you're pulling. <laughs> okay. So, you pull them a pretty good distance. Um, you're chest level now in water. Mm. As Burden is struggling to get you out of the water. You're welcome. Um, with that, it will be Nocturnal and Doctor. <laughs> you guys, you guys are... Uh, so you walked, so that's 80 feet away now. I advanced 20 feet. Okay. <laughs> so you guys advanced another 20 feet. I'll bring it to a jokester. Do you mind if I... <sighs> Gotta you, finish this. You can do whatever. I'll dash to get next to Burden. Okay. Full 80 feet. Okay. If I use... Shall I can use Axe and Surge. Mm-hmm. I could use my second action, my daggers. Okay. Try to cut its arms off. Okay. Technically, I can still. No, I moved. You moved, yeah. Bad. So, no steady aim. Straight roll. 19. That hits. And the, the Vorpal daggers auto severs, right? Uh, yes, it does. <clears throat> so. The, uh, the claw that has a hold of you comes undone. Need you to do a dexterity save. See if you go prone with the jokester. Let me see. Damage. Five. Okay, so both of you splash down in the water. 19 points of damage. And the crayfish is down. Nice. I go crawling out of the water. When I pull my leg up, the big ass claw is like still attached. <laughs> I snatch it off, hold it up. Guys, 
Got us some dinner. Jokester, quit napping on the job. Start cooking. <laughs> Is there a fire? Yes. Yeah, we had a fire. Oh. Now head back to the fire. Start cooking it up. Uh, or trying to. Do we have any milk? I don't believe we do, Mr. Burden. Shame. We could have had some home-churned butter to dip the crab leg. How do you churn butter, Mr. Burden? Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> so I take it and I just put it in a bucket. There you go. That's some old-timey churning there. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. So I'm going to attempt to cook this thing up. Okay. <laughs> Do a performance check on your cooking. <clears throat> you guys doing anything else while you're down in the water? Gentlemen, those gems that we acquired the other day, who's holding on to those? Oh my fucking god. He took the first ten. You, you got the other five. Did you get a one? <laughs> Nat 20. Oh, <laughs> wow. Shh. You cooked it to perfection. My god. <laughs> I am... I am... Fuck to get to battle. Mr. Jokester, I have, will, have never said this before, and I will never say this again. <laughs> Probably but not. But this is the most adequate thing you have ever done. <laughs> adequate. <laughs> Definitely words I will <laughs> never hear again. It's succulent and it melts in your mouth. I'm going to put my bib on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you turn your cloak around. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you guys uh, have a good little feast. <laughs> what do you guys do come sundown? I want to look at the gems that I have. Okay. I'm hoping that at least one of them is a diamond. So, Mikey took the ten from the two rounds ago, uh, two episodes ago. I gave him the ones that I found. Mm -hmm. So he's got mine. Okay. Who's this Mike? My bad. <laughs> I don't know. So how many gems total do you have? I have five. Five. And just so you know what I'm doing, because I, I forgot to do this before we left and it's too late now. I need diamonds for Revivify and they have to be worth 300. So I'm hoping, hoping that I have maybe one, one gem that's worth 300 that's a diamond. So roll uh, six-sided five times. Six. Five, three, four, two. Boo. Five, three, four, two. And show me a... Oh, yeah, we'll do that one. These are the lucky dice, even though I can't <laughs> read them. Five. Five. Okay. So you have... Two at a thousand, one at five hundred, um, one at. I remember twos were fifty. Yeah, fifty and uh, one at a hundred. The one that's five hundred. Can I just say that's a three hundred cost diamond? Uh, if it's over the value, mm -hmm. it still works. It has to be at least a 300. Okay, so can we say so, it's a diamond, though? Yeah. Okay, so That's one fine. of them is a diamond. Mm -hmm. Okay. An exquisite diamond. It looks actually probably like this. That looks very <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good one. No. <laughs> There's a good one. You and gentlemen the, will thank me later if I have the, to use this. It fell in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Melt. Ain't worth nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so after your, your meal, what uh, what do you guys do? Made some excellent etouffee there. Thank you. I'm just going to lay back. Hit the sack. Okay. I'll take first watch. Then okay. go to bed. Y'all want to go nighty-night? Yeah, I'm going to go night-night, too, because I'm a little bit... I'm, well, I didn't take any damage, but... You know, this is just the whole process was oh. exhausting. Oh, yeah, what was Mentally. It? I took a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty fatigued from watching that. 
<laughs> Hard to watch, huh? <laughs> Stressful. A little stressed yeah. out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I won't let it affect my game. <laughs> I'll right. take a... Is there a tree nearby? Yes. I'll take a sentry post. Okay. Keep an eye out. All right. You morons get some rest. So uh, how far up in the tree do you go? Uh, just 30 feet. Okay. Not a problem. Want me to climb it? Dexterity? Survival? Y you can. Um, it would be... I'm not gonna if you don't want me to. Nah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not in a hurry, so uh, you're pretty dexterous. Take my time. Do it right. Mm-hmm. I'm staying awake too. Okay. But I'm staying with the other two while they're sleeping. Okay. And I'm just meditating and preparing my spells for the next day. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, need you do a perception roll, Nocturnal. Uh oh. Oh boy. 16. 16. Okay. So, um, as you're sitting up there watching the area, um, you notice movement down by. Uh, well, do you have your goggles on? I'm assuming you do. Nighttime. I probably should. Okay. So you see uh, some movement down by the uh, the pond. Uh, seems to be... Looks like it's picking up a longbow. Uh-oh. Off the ground. It's not good. Can I stealthily climb down and observe? Do a stealth check. It's 100 feet away, right? Yeah. Nat 20. Okay. Yes. No noise. You're part of the shadows. Gonna watch. Okay. You're watching. It kind of picks up the bow. It's looking at it. Slings it over the shoulder. Starts walking away. Tom, hold it right there. That bow doesn't belong to you. Gives a little squeak and starts running. Did I hear any of that? Uh, do a perception check for the, the little yell. Sixteen. Yeah, you barely heard a. Huh? And down by the, the pond, you hear. What is it, Mr. Nocturnal? Trouble. Someone stole his bow. Left it down by the water's edge. I get up and head towards them. Okay. So you get up, you start moving. I'm going to mad dash. Okay. Um, I'm going to mad dash. <laughs> 40 feet. I guess no one woke us up. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just completely there, defenseless. <laughs> so uh, you actually catch up to him because he doesn't move as fast as you do. Um, a little, little shorter than um, a human. Um, you're guessing probably half elf, maybe something a little smaller. You're not quite sure. Uh, it's wearing tight leathers. Um, you do see a couple of small weapons on its hip, um, but it's just concentrating on running right now. And you see Nocturnal disappear. Uh, actually, you got 300 feet, so you see Nocturnal catching up to this. Oh, yeah. He's humanoid. got dark vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just following him. Okay. And I'm running. <laughs> do, 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 do. Can I grab him by the, the back of his armor? You can tr most certainly try. Is that a dex roller? Um, yeah. It's not good. <laughs> it's a six. <laughs> so, so you go to reach for him. Uh, he just does this little... Jerk in motion, motion to the, the right, and he's just a booking. He juked me, <laughs> little turd. <laughs> um, as he's running, and you're running, he gives out another scream. They're going to get me! They're going to get me! Come help me! <laughs> I guess I totally don't hear this. So song. you two can make a perception check. Because they're still within hearing distance. I'm still asleep. You're snoring. <laughs> I'm, I'm gone. I'm out. <laughs> Both of you are snoring. <laughs> um, he's yelling this. What do you do, Nocturnal? I'm going to yell at him back. So drop the bow. Now bring you no harm. 
My apologies, friend. Didn't mean to leave it out. Uh, do a persuasion. Two. <laughs> <laughs> As he's running, he goes, Finders keepers! Finders keepers! Oh, now you're asking for it. <laughs> I have to catch up back to him again. Oh, you're right there with him. Shh. You you outmove him. <laughs> Gotta try to kick him in the back of his leg so he trips. Okay. Do you want a strength or a dex? Um, that one I'm gonna go with strength. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> He dodges you again. Little bastard. Dude's to the left. <laughs> God. Doctor, they're leaving you in the dust. I'm still running, but... <laughs> <laughs> Got Barry Sanders over here. Uh, do a perception check for me, though, Doctor. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Up in the trees that Nocturnal's coming to, you see two figures, and they're getting ready to... To, it looks like they're getting ready to drop a net. Mr. Nocturnal, there's two people above you about to drop a net. So you will have an advantage on your dexterity save. You'll have to be a 20. Not a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> 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 okay. So this weighted net falls down around you. <laughs> You fall down on the ground, you get tangled up in this net. This guy just beats it. <laughs> da, crap. Doc, little help. I mean, I don't know when I get to him, but I'm... Um, it'll take you two turns to get to him. Is the net in uh, the air or on the ground? No, it's, it's all wrapped around you. It's on the ground. On the ground. Yeah, with you. Um, by the time you get there, the two guys are out of the tree in... They have taken off, but you're now at Nocturnal. <laughs> Use your dagger to cut yourself free. You can most certainly try. I love Just the way he said that. Steady aim it. <laughs> 21. Okay, so you start cutting yourself out. Slow going. It's really, really tight. Um, Hard to cut through material, but you, you are cutting through it. With the Vorpal Dagger? Yes. Damn. Some strong stuff. Yes, it is very strong. Um, you can tell that there's, like, little threads of some sort of metal as you're cutting this. Because you see some sparks fly. Ooh. Bad news. <laughs> um, so, uh, as you get there, Nocturnal, you're... You've got a big enough hole to where you can start crawling out by the time the doctor gets to you. Right. Uh, uh, I'm here. I'm here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why was I running, Mr. Nocturnal? Daily dollar short, friend. We got a problem. What happened? These guys nabbed Jokester's bow. Oh, there's no problem. He's kind of our archer at the moment. Fair enough. They took off. We might have to wake the guys and track these guys down. My thoughts exactly. We should wake them up. How many turns did I waste? Um, so, let's see. That was two turns to cut yourself out. Um, it was about a three-turn run. So, five turns to get to where you guys are. Let's go get the guys, and I'll start tracking. Excellent idea. Would this be considered a long or a short rest? I don't know if we're getting a rest now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been the, sleeping. The, the two of you will have a short rest by the time Doctor gets back to you. But more importantly, uh, Jokester, uh, Big Spoon or Little Spoon? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. Little Spoon it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you're tracking, right? All right, so I need you to do a, a, a um, survival. Can I give him guidance before I run off? Sure. Okay, guidance. Nineteen. Okay. 
you uh, see the tracks pretty good. They're not trying to cover them right now. Um, as you're, you're tracking, you get back to the campsite. Um, do a perception check for me. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. When you get there, you notice all the packs are gone. <laughs> and any remaining food that might have been left is also gone. <clears throat> well, it has been a while since we've been robbed. I wake these two up. Okay. You guys are awoken. <clears throat> um. Get the hell off me. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> you got a little stain right there, but I will get that out later. <laughs> that explains a lot. <sighs> uh, why'd you wake us? Gentlemen, we have been robbed and Nocturnal is chasing them as we speak. I immediately check for my weapons. Weapons are there, but your packs are gone. No, wait, no, I had something valuable in there. We all had valuable things. We should find them immediately. Especially my things. Am I still wearing my backpack? Never clarified. Um, you might have been able to, um, because you were on guard duty. Um, more than likely, doctor did not. No, he was it meditating. Would, it would have been seen next. Those to me. two were sleeping. So you're Wonderful. the only one that probably have you have uh, your pack. I'm good then. Since the bags are missing, and I noticed that, can I see if I see any tracks or anything? You can do a survival. Let's see if you can. See him. Nineteen. You can make out uh, some scuffs that you believe are from somebody else besides the party. Um, they are definitely covering their tracks here. Um, it is hard for you to follow, but you right now you can see them. Gentlemen, I found some tracks. Should we catch up with Nocturnal, or should we follow these tracks to get our stuff back? I want to follow the tracks. Nocturnal's a big boy. He can take care of himself. There were at least three individuals. I didn't get a good look at them. More than enough. Well, all right, Mr. Burden. I believe his new belt came with some... Uh, accoutrement that could serve him in this situation? Excellent use of that word, Mr. Burden. Thank you. He'll be fine. I want my stuff back. <laughs> I'm gonna go and start running catch up with Nocturnal. He went that way. Okay. So you start running for Nocturnal. Little bitch. <laughs> I guess Burden and I will try and follow the other tracks. Okay. So, I'll go back to Nocturnal right quick. As you're following, I need you to do another survival. Ooh. That one. <laughs> All right. Trail disappears. I Christ. need you to do a perception check for me. Ooh. 22. Okay. So, you catch the movement of some bushes, but you're not sure if it was wind, if it was a person, if it was an animal to your left. Investigate. Okay. Move closer. Okay. So as you move in, <clears throat> I need you to do a um, initiative roll. Uh -oh. Mike, you want to read that? I mean, burden. That would be a natural one. Oh. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> As you come up on to this bush, um, what jumps out is a very large cat of some sort. Oh. <laughs> and it pounces upon you. <laughs> oh, I figured it'd be more crabs. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall, are we? Don't know what you're talking about. That's why I wear fishnet stockings. <laughs> 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 it's canon now. I wasn't going to ask, but... Uh, I got a 23, a 15, and a 17. Yeah, there's a good chance all three of those hit. 
I can't wait till we start getting some fan art. <laughs> just, <laughs> just curious. <laughs> does, does my belt... Is the... Swarm of bats a reaction by any chance? Yes, you can. Yes, you, you may use it as a reaction. Then I need to do it. Okay. And it'll impose disadvantage. Okay. I see where you're going. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got that stuck I in touch, my head now. I touch my belt, <laughs> and I summon this massive swarm of bats. All right. So, as you summon your, your bats... Uh, How many bats? All of these... Uh, there's about 20, maybe 30 bats come out of your belt, just right in front of this giant cat's face, and thing just completely misses you. Uh, it tears up the ground. Uh, the bite just nips your your uh, armor about about knee height, um, but it does not hit you. That jerk. <laughs> so now he's asking for trouble. <laughs> it is your turn. What would you like to do? Does that bonus action count as a? It's just a reaction. It, it was just a reaction. So this is your turn. Gotcha. So if you want to do steady aim, you steady may. Steady aim. Purple dagger. Cocked. Twenty-four to hit. Okay, that hits. Twenty points of damage. Nice. Cool. And the bat stay for 10 rounds, if I'm not okay. mistaken. Yep. So, uh, you take out your dagger, slice it across the face, leaving a big old gash. It kind of screams at you. Take that, Scar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm coming for the rest of Disney. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the only thing that hits you this time is the bite. Boo. I can take it. It, it was the cushion. <laughs> so, 14 points of damage. Yes. And it has you locked into its jaw. So, you have no movement, but you have normal attacks. <laughs> Mikey, where are my hit points? Ah, <laughs> oh, there they are. How much damage? Uh, 14. It's a little on the I in. Try that again. 14. <laughs> no, I meant re-roll. 14. <laughs> sure. You want him to double it? Only because I like you. And it was a crit. <laughs> 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 so be your My turn. turn. Yes. Steady aim it. Warpal. So. It'd be a two and a three. <laughs> <laughs> so, in your pain, you just can't swing your your dagger. You're just kind of like, ah. Ah. Now I know how burden feels. <laughs> Ah, it burns. Don't worry, it happens to a lot of guys our age. <laughs> Gonna have to really check my prostate now. We are the oldest virgins on the internet. <laughs> By far. <laughs> so I hope that guy's watching. Do not help you out this time at all. Oh, no. <laughs> um... So the two claws do a total of uh, 24 points of damage as oh both claws come down God the side. God almighty. And it continues to bite you for a total of 14 points again. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, shit. So you are passed out. Jokester. Uh-huh. <laughs> I need to need you to do a perception roll because the noise you may be able to track him even easier. Nat one. <laughs> so 
so you hear nothing. I need you to roll a d8 for me. In the back of your mind, you're hearing Dr. Straw. You went that way. You went that way. <laughs> Seven. Okay. So, you're not quite on the same path that Nocturnal went, but you're in the right vicinity. Um, back to Burden and Dr. Straw. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> no, but I sense something good is happening. <laughs> Hello, I am the Game Master, Aaron Hannington. If you like what you see here, please like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on our other social medias. Consider joining our Patreon for exclusive contents. And if you don't, I'll give you disadvantage for life. Back to our program. I was <laughs> going to say that I, I cast, because we're looking for our, the tracks, I cast Eyes of Night on him. Okay. And I also give him Vigilant Blessing, so if, if we end up in combat, he has advantage on his okay. initiative. Sweet. All right. So, you guys are tracking these very hard footprints to follow. Um, I need you to do uh, another survival. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. So, as you're tracking them... You come upon uh, five people. They are currently climbing upon a cart that is hauled by two oxen. What would you guys like to do? Two of them currently sitting in the front of the cart where they drive the oxen, and the other three are climbing into the back. I whisper to Burden, if we can't convince them to give them our stuff back, we're going to have to kill them. All I heard was thunder wave. <laughs> <laughs> Is he close enough for it to hit them? He, he would have to advance, but he could get close enough to effectively strike them with that. Do you want to distract them? I, I step forward. Okay. So you step forward. <laughs> They all look at you. They kind of chuckle a little bit. They're like, what are you going to do? Run after us? How clustered are they? They are all within 10 feet. Gentlemen, we just like our gear back. There needs to be no need for violence tonight. While he's talking to them, I'm, Persuasion. Se I'm sneaking around. Okay. Uh, stealth? Yes. <laughs> Can I get myself guidance too? Yes. Dirty 20. Okay. Dirty 20. Okay. Wow. So, one of the guys kind of goes, hey, man, may, may, maybe we really shouldn't uh, have a fight with these guys. Maybe we should give them their stuff back. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, he's pretty well armored. Yeah. So, they throw the three bags off and they start moving. You have one chance to do something, both of you, if you wish. Check. The bags. It's on you right now. I did my thing. <sighs> I see them, of course, throw the bags. Mm -hmm. And the cart's starting to move. I'll let them go. Okay. I just wanted my bag back. Okay. <laughs> so. Yes, yeah, so I walk up and examine my bag. Uh, it's all, all there? I'll I look in Jokester's bag. It. As far as you know, it's all there. <laughs> Is there any gold in his bag? <laughs> do you, where do you hold your gold? Is it in your bag or your bag of holding? I I don't know. <laughs> it's my inventory. <laughs> his bag of holding is empty. Uh, so, so I I guess so my probably my, in your backpack. Yeah, yeah. I pull a coin out and think about it. And I just put it back and just grab the bags. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to check my bag. It's all there. I put it on and I say, I'm never going to let you go again. Never give it up, Mr. Burden. <laughs> no, never going to let it down. Never going to turn around. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> and hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Mr. Burden, I'm never going to make you cry. <laughs> I'm never going to say goodbye. <laughs> and we start heading back to the fire. <laughs> so you guys start heading back. And if, I'm, and if I happen to hear what's going on, I'm, I's listening to see where the uh, uh, You guys are too far away. I'm really glad we're hitting this at the peak of its popularity. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Not Kill Carol. me now. <laughs> <laughs> that may be more true than you know, Mr. Nocturnal. Getting devoured by a fucking mountain lion. Throw. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, are we still going to be doing the Harlem Shake eventually? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Seven. Oh, that's your first failure. Oh, dear God. So, Jokester, uh -huh. need you to do a survival. Survival check. <sighs> Nocturnal's re-rolling. New character. Here we go. That one. Oh. Do a D8 for me. Man, that's unlucky. Three. Okay. That's very unlucky. So. Maybe. Um, as you guys get to the camp, uh, Nocturnal and Jokester is not there. Uh, Jokester, you are wandering the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Aimlessly. Can't see a thing. <laughs> you're just, you're not even sure which way the pond or camp is right now. <laughs> Sweet. Um, you definitely don't Sweet. know where Nocturnal is. I got it. I got the most competent rescue team. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Seal Team Six, where you at? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Doctor and Burden, anything you like to do as you arrive to camp? Well, obviously, we noticed that they're not back. Yes, Mister Burden, something must be wrong. We should head out to where they're at. Trouble at the farm. I mean, we got the backpacks back. I mean, we we could just, you know. That's true, Mr. Burden, but with your quest that we're going on, the more hands, the better. <sighs> Fine. Let's go save them again. Let's make haste just in case. I'm completely confident in their abilities, but we should probably hurry. I feel like we're babying them, but... Uh, all right. You have to crawl before you can walk, Mr. Burden. Oh, then I must have done it wrong. Um, <laughs> either way, let's go. All right, so I run in the direction where I know Nocturnal went. And okay. I'm running right behind him. Okay. Um, jokester, I need you to do a perception check for me, please. <laughs> Shit. Want to try one of mine? <laughs> My dear God. Eight. That's weird. Normally you're so much <laughs> more luckier than that. So you don't even hear what's going on. Um, as you guys approach to where you last knew where Nocturnal was, I need you to do a perception check for me. You can roll awesome. Guiding myself. Okay. Ten. Twelve. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, you guys don't hear anything. Um, do a do a survival to see if you can see which way Nocturnal went to. Fifteen. Okay. Eleven. You guys don't see his tracks. He rolled a nat twenty. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> So vindictive little fella. Um, roll an eight for me, doctor. How about that percentage? Seven. Okay. So <clears throat> as you guys are walking around trying to, to find Nocturnal, um, Nocturnal, you come awake. Um, you're at two hit points, you are bound both wrists and ankles, and you are gagged and blindfolded. Sounds like someone got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good time. <laughs> are my pants still on? 
<laughs> the fishnets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the fishnets are open. <laughs> For continuity, I'm wearing a chastity belt. <laughs> um, the fishnets are under that. The, the most you can tell is you think you've been um, stripped of your weapons. Um, you still have your armor on, but you're thinking your weapons have been taken. Your pack is no longer on your back. Um, you're not quite sure what the movement is, whether you're on a cart, on a boat, or being drug on a, a stretcher of some sort, but you are being moved. Um, jokester. Do a strength check to try to break out. Absolutely. Come on, my big modifier of zero. Four. No. <laughs> Not even close. Are you sure? <laughs> you didn't think that hard. <laughs> you can barely even move your wrist. <laughs> it was sewing thread they tied me with. It's a DC of ten. Or two. Whatever you're comfortable with. <laughs> so, nocturnal. Or a jokester. Need you to roll a D8 for me. May as well just hold on to this thing. One. Okay. So, uh, Doctor, I need you to roll a perception check. You are doing everything I'm... you can to help us, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Put me out of my misery. 17? Okay. So, you see Jokester to your far left walking away from you. Jokester! Jokester, do you see Nocturnal? Mm -hmm. I don't see shit. Oh. No, over here. Oh, there. <laughs> this way. Oh, oh, Doctor. There, there you are. <laughs> I make my way to him. Okay, so you get to the Doctor in Burden. <laughs> Where is Nocturnal? I don't know. Well, that's a problem. Uh, yeah. I'm going to expend a spell slot and cast Eyes of Night so all three of us have it now. Okay. So you guys can all see in the dark. Uh, I'll let you all make one last perception roll. You don't need to. They're looking for you. My hands bound in the front or the back? Uh, behind you. Behind me? And they're tied to your ankles. Ooh. Your hog tie. Oh, God. Be a I can't pantomime that. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. Nineteen. Okay. It's no problem. You're I'm sure my buddy's got this. Only one that hear very light talking in the far distance going forward. Hey guys, I hear some talking up ahead. Lead the way, quickly. Is it light or heavy talking? It's talking. Let's go. So I start quickly... Okay. Hauling ass. So you're hauling ass on through. Quickly hauling ass. Redundancy. <laughs> so uh, as you're running through the, uh, the trees and the shrubbery, uh, you do hear, Quickly, take up positions. They're coming. You hear this too. <laughs> <laughs> so, either Am I, I know gagged? you're not, but are you staying with the doctor or are you running up forward with Jokester? Because you're faster than the doctor. Um, I'm staying with the doctor for right now. Okay. Uh, Stop patronizing me, Mr. Burden. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just staying close to my health source. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to ask? Is my math. Bound? Yes, yeah, you are gagged. gagged. Gagged and blindfolded. You don't see anything. Sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fishnet. <laughs> 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 I just like to see his action figure. New nocturnal action figure with power fishnets. Pull the string. <laughs> Extra armor. Add on the chaps. <laughs> Does a 17 hit you? Yeah. Okay. 
So you have a net. I need you to do a dexterity save. Oh, that's okay. a good sign. 23. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anytime he does the math, <laughs> it's always a good sign. So you uh, actually sidestep the net that they drop down. Atta boy. Um, you see, currently you see nocturnal. I'm sorry, um, I meant. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm blinded too. Yeah. I didn't see anything. Sorry. <laughs> you're, st you're obviously still making noises. Though. Erase that. <laughs> Edit that out. So you see nocturnal on um, this flat cart um, being hauled by another couple of uh, oxen. Uh, there's two guys up in a tree that dropped the net or try to drop the net on you. And you see three more guys with bows trained on you. And they're like, you need to stop. You need to kiss my ass. All right. Initiative. Awesome. <laughs> Let him have it. All of us or just him? Uh, all of you. Because you guys will be coming in shortly. You have vigilant blessings. That's advantage. A dirty 20. Okay. I like it. Jesus. Zero. <laughs> Not one. Not one minus one. It's the worst episode ever. <laughs> Not 20 plus three. All Ooh. right. Gamers for God is literally going to quit after watching this episode. We're just giving him extra work. <laughs> Gamers for God, I apologize. You do the Lord's work on there. I love that guy, though. Or girl. He hasn't clarified. They haven't clarified. Hey, shut up. Uh, so it will be burden will start us off jokester I didn't get the roll <laughs> <laughs> why are you cheating me dog <laughs> if we make you feel better you can uh, roll with triple disadvantage <laughs> you know what <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Watch him get an awesome roll. Two eights and a twenty. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. <laughs> that ain't bad. <laughs> All right, I'll scratch that. <laughs> Never mind. I choose not to engage in combat because <laughs> I had a choice. I decided to be a pacifist. <laughs> Well, if you want to take the eight, I'll put you in there, and that's nah. when you can try to break free. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. So you'll be there. Mm. Plus four. That's a 12 total. Okay. All right. So, Burden, as you come flying into the clearing, uh, let's see... Do a perception roll for me. You may not see the two guys up on the tree. Oh, I hope I do. At least they don't have their net. Right. Fifteen. You do. Uh, you as you come upon the clearing, uh, you see two guys up in the tree. Um, they're slightly behind uh, Jokester. There's a net on the ground. Uh, you see three people with bows trained on Jokester, and Nocturnal's on a, a flat made cart. Spread out like a Christmas ham. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go after the dumbass. I mean, uh, idiot. I'm. Be nocturnal. specific. There you go. <laughs> you. We're, we're waiting for it. You handle jokester. There's a couple of guys in the tree up there. He can call that out to me because I'm. Yeah, he he can yell it out. Uh, okay. You. So I start making my way towards the. Uh, okay. Towards the cart. All right. Jokester, what would you like to do? <laughs> Shit. Didn't think this through too well. <laughs> it's on brand. So you oh. got three guys in front of you with bows. You have How two guys away? up in the trees. How far away with the bows? Uh, with the bows, they're 30 feet. So if you want to move up, you can actually move up and attack them melee. Um, but you won't be able to use your steady aim. And your daggers are calling to you. I was thinking it was about that time. Calling him an idiot. 
It's still calling. <laughs> so I'm going to unsheathe my daggers. All right, make your save if you're going to resist them. Uh, which save was it again? Intelligence. Intelligence. Cool. Uh, 18. You succeed. You are in control. So I'm just going to go straight towards the closest one to me. Okay. Just go to slash at him with my first one. All right. I can only use the first one this time, right? No, you can use both. You can use both? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fourteen. Actually misses. Mm-hmm. That is very unlucky. <laughs> Going for the second. He'll pick up on it eventually. <laughs> 17. That hits. Let him have it. You don't add anything to the second one, though. I meant right. it's just a straight. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Seven points. Okay. Was that just your dagger, or did you add your necrotic? Necrotic damage does work still. Uh, so you do your dagger and oh, necrotic damage. Geez. Plus another six. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Been a while since I used these things. All right. So as you come down with your primary dagger, you just kind of cut the front of his leather um, and you follow up with a, an uppercut with your, your second dagger right into his gut. Sink it all the way up to the hill. Oh. <laughs> with that. For he's that dude. Let's see. You're too close. That's These two will shoot at Burden. Uh, one breaks his bowstring. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the other one got a 19. Yeah, that is. Mm. Excuse me. Ding. <laughs> so that will be uh, four points of damage, Burden. Ah. And the guy that you're fighting will take out his dagger. He says a command word, and the flame engulfs the blade. Sweet. Uh oh. Uh, be 19 to hit. Sweet. Not damaged yet. I know. Hold it. To hit. Uh oh. So you take uh, three points of piercing damage and six points of fire damage for a total of nine. Oof. Is the command phrase, flame on! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know who we're fighting. <laughs> and that will bring it to you, Nocturnal. <laughs> Gotta break free. He's Street check. Gotta break free. Eleven. No. You're trying. You're trying. <laughs> Now, the two guys up in the tree. Now, I, I understand that my initiative is zero. Yes, yes. It, has it come to me yet? No. Oh. You'll be after these two guys. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> is there a total of four enemies? Five. Five? Is there a cat out on the prowl still? You don't know. <laughs> oh, these guys don't even know there's a cat. Nope, we don't. Nope. <laughs> oh. Hope y'all get mauled, like oh. like Tiger King. Eighteen and seventeen. <laughs> Put the gag back in your mouth. <laughs> the Team Nocturnal so, fans are gonna hate this episode. Total of four yeah, well, one points of, of damage as two arrows sink in your back. Stunk, stunk. Doctor, Ow. it's your turn. 
All right, so dropping my speed to 20 because I'm scanning the treetops because I know there's people in the trees. Mm -hmm. Do I see anyone? You do. You see two people in the trees. Uh, you see three people, in, well, three people directly in front of uh, Jokester. One's in combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat with him, and the other two have bows trained on burden. Okay. And you see Nocturnal on the flat cart. Did I happen to see the one whose bowstring broke? Yes. Okay. So the other one, how far would you say I am from the other one? Uh, you're about 35 feet. Ooh, that's definitely close enough. So I'm going to pull out my holy symbol, trace it with my fingers, and cast a moonbeam on him. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh, it's fricassee okay. time. <laughs> what save is that? It's a con save of 15. Uh, yeah, he did not make it. All right, so that's 2d10. Fry him. Uh, 14 points of damage. Ouch. Burn the force down with it. All right. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon right next to him. Oh, God. <laughs> so let me mark that off. Guys, <laughs> SOL. As this giant flying orange crow appears. <laughs> Spiritual weapon. Okay. Fourteen? That misses. Okay. But it's right there next to him. Okay. <laughs> so that'll bring it to the top of the round as this bright light fills the area as this beam comes down out of the sky. <sighs> Burden, what do you do? Somebody's getting their ass kicked. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I continue on to okay. try to free him. You reach the cart. Excellent. And I see him all tied up there, right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna search his pockets real quick. Okay. Just sleight of hand. Do a little searchy, searchy. Can I feel what he's doing? Uh, do a perception check. Because you are blindfolded. If you, if you get over his his stealth. Fourteen. His uh, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Yeah, sleight of hand. Uh, dirty 22. <laughs> What'd you get? 14. <laughs> no, um, you think you might feel something, but you're not really sure because the, the, the cart's still moving. <laughs> it's I the hate garter. You. <laughs> but you, the I garter. hate you both. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, uh, you find absolutely nothing in his pockets. Oh, they took everything. Oh, well. I guess I'll go ahead and try to free him. Okay. Well, actually, it'll be next turn because that was your turn. Oh. <laughs> well, you got action surge, right? I do. Yeah. I do. So you can do another Thank action. You. you could. Yeah, I'm going to action surge. And I'm going to release a uh, <clears throat> uh, dumbass over here. Can you be more specific? <laughs> Halo. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what do I need to do to release him? Are uh, you cutting him free? Or are you trying to pull the ropes apart? What, what are you trying to do? Yeah, I'll just cut him. You setting them on fire? <coughs> Ooh, I could do that. <laughs> My God. But no, I'll just go ahead and cut him free because okay. we need to get this battle. So as long as you don't there. fumble, you cut him free. Okay. Always get that chance of a oops. Uh, not a one with my, no, not a one. Okay, so you cut him free. <laughs> so you are now free, nocturnal. I'm free, and burden is standing there, free at last. Yes, burden, my knight in shining armor, my best friend. Then don't you how I've it? missed you. Don't don't take it too far. <laughs> what the hell is going on? We're in battle with the people who kidnapped you. These guys are gonna pay. Uh, 
By the way, I think they took all of your stuff, so... They took my weapons. Fear not. We are the Fairness, Equity, Truth, Alliance League. That's right, we are fetal. Assume the fetal positions. <laughs> Do I get an action yet? <laughs> sure. <laughs> they only took my weapons, right? I, actually, no, you don't get your action yet. It's Jokester's turn. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't wait for this is over. <laughs> you and me are going to have a discussion. <laughs> it's been fun being the game master of this campaign. Jokes are what you I spilled beer in my face. <laughs> what you get for threatening me? <laughs> <laughs> Give me disadvantage of drinking my own mug. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, power through it. Power through. Power through, gentlemen. <laughs> I'd simmer down, jokester. Okay. Try and uh, repeat the same thing as last time. All right. <laughs> Dagger number one. We're one on one, right? Yes. Twenty one. That hits. At a boy. action. Going for the other. Okay. Twelve. That misses. Yeah. So, almost exactly opposite of what you did the last time. Uh, your first dagger sinks deep into his left shoulder, and your, your second dagger just kind of scrapes across his leather. Um... <laughs> with that, he will retaliate with his fire dagger. Sweet. Uh oh. Ho oh, oh. And he drops it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As he goes to stab you, the, the, the pain is just too much, and he. Uh, and the dagger drops to the ground. Dibs on the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> See, the guy in the moonbeam. Now. The, I should note something. Yes. He takes damage when he starts his turn in the moonbeam. Oh, yes. And the saving throw, I don't know if this is relevant, but it's made a disadvantage if they're a shape changer. No, he's not a shape changer. Okay. Just thought I would point that out. That's oddly specific. Mm -hmm. So do your damage. Did he fail? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yes, he did. Nine points of damage. Nine points. All right, so he steps out of the moonbeam and tries to shoot Burden again. Wait, no, you did that the, on the guy with that did not. No, you did it. Yeah, the and the one whose bowstring is fine. I dropped yeah. it on that one. So he misses. So as the, the arrow comes flying out, it kind of bounces off your, your shoulder. Um, the other guy that has the broken bowstring. He's just running. He bails. <laughs> <laughs> he says, see bye. And that will bring it to you, Nocturnal. I have no weapons. You do not currently. They took them all. They have. I still have my belt though, right? You do. I'm gonna smash that bastard like the staples button and summon all three giant bats. Okay. 
So do you pull off your blindfold first? He did it. Yeah. He did? Okay. So you s smack your belt, give the command <clears throat> word, and three giant bats just appear. <laughs> You have them do. They have 40 HP. Kill everyone. Leave no survivors. Okay. Care to read. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> so, uh, the closest one will be him. Uh, not an ally. <laughs> not yet, anyway. I know what you meant. <laughs> I just messed up. <coughs> Okay. That's, that's fine. I, I got it coming. <laughs> so uh, they go over to the uh, the three guys that are in front of uh, Jokester. One of them starting to run. So you can attack him. So uh, does that count uh, as bonus action for all those? You're going to... Yeah, because he stepped out of the moonbeam, so he'll be good. Yes. Yes. Bonus action for each. So those are bonus actions. Mm -hmm. Would you let me trade another bonus action for an actual action? What are you doing? I just want to do swarm of bats one more time to protect myself. Sure, I'll let you do it. Smash it. Okay. Smash that button. All right. So swarm bats are just swarming all around you. So Take cover. Okay. So you're smashing that button like people should be smashing the like and subscribe button. That's a great plug, actually. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Gotta stay on top of these things. I like where your head's at. <laughs> And smashing that keyboard to leave a comment below. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> All right. So after you summon your bats, the two guys up in the trees. Do the, the bats need an in initiative order? Uh, no, they'll be right after you. Okay. Burden, four points of damage as two arrows sink deep into your chest. Stunk, stunk. Huh. It is as of nothing to me. Good doctor, tis your turn. He's over there just like... <laughs> tis but a bite of the fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carl Drago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to use my action to move the moonbeam back on top of that creature. Alrighty. No, you don't take the damage yet. It'll okay. be when his turn starts when his in turn it. turn starts. Okay. Yeah, it's either the first time they enter the spell or, or on the start of their turn. Okay. And then I will use my bonus action because the spiritual weapon is right there. Okay. So I'll move it just a little closer so it's next to him again. <laughs> and I'm going to use the spiritual weapon to attack. And that is probably a miss. Yeah, 13's a miss. Yeah. Okay. All right. So your your orange crow is trying to uh, to uh, hit this guy, but it's just not getting through that leather armor. Raven. Raven. Right. Sorry. Raven. No problem. Slightly bigger. Yeah, slightly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll bring you to the top of the round, Burden. Where are we at on time? My bladder's at no vacancy right now. Well, you're down on the list, so <laughs> go take your bathroom break, and we'll pause when it comes to your turn if you're not back. Yeah. We can show everyone your fishnet stockings. I got I got five more minutes in me. Where are we, where are we at? Fifteen. Shit. All right. I'm going to... Let me see. Give me a second. Best of luck. So what are you doing, Burton? He's barefoot, you know. Um, okay. So we got three on the ground, two up in the trees, right? Yes. All right. Doctor's handling the one in the tree. The other one's fleeing. Uh, <clears throat> one's engaged with... Jokester, Actually, right? Doctor's handling one that's on the ground near Jokester. Okay. The two up in the tree aren't being attacked at all right now. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and try to climb my way up into the tree to take care of those guys. Okay. There's one of them. Uh, you won't be able to attack them this turn, but you can start climbing the tree. That's fine. I'm going to start climbing the tree. Okay. So, uh, Jokester. The guy that you're fighting is hurting. All right, well, he's about to be hurting some more. Or not. <laughs> 
first one is definitely a miss. All right. <laughs> That's better. 25. That hits. <laughs> Dear God. Suddenly a lot of dice in that dice tray. Four points. <laughs> <coughs> Better than nothing. All right. As you uh, bring your second dagger down, you uh, kind of scrape his face a bit, put a good gash in his right cheek. Did I put a smile on that face? You did. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Worth it. That's like from the movie. Yes. <laughs> what movie? <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> He'll retrieve. I know what. Kind of screams out. You'll never take me alive! He takes something out of his vest and throws it down on the ground. And this green mist just goes poof. I need you and the three bats to make a constitution saving throw. I wasn't wearing my glasses. I think I urinated everywhere. <laughs> that explains the trail. 17. Yeah, I don't mind that. 17, all right, you succeeded. So you'll only take half damage. Oh, what do you half. What do you need the bats to do? Constitution save for each of them. I don't have stats on them. Or do I? I thought I put them. You down. did. Zero. You want me to roll it, or you, you do it? Fifteen, eighteen. You got one more. Oh, all three bats. I thought you only said two. Nope, three of them. Three. That one failed. So, uh -oh. the other two only take half damage, you take half damage. So, 10 points of damage, so Jokester takes 5. Your first two bats take 5, your last one takes 10. Do you want me to keep track of them, or you got it? No, you keep track of them. Okay. They, are, they are yours, sir. So, the guy that you've been attacking drops dead <laughs> in this green mist. Okay. Um, the guy who dropped this device is hurting bad. Um, and Nocturnal will be your turn. So you can take your turn and then your bats. I need to find a weapon. Okay. Can I look? Absolutely. Perception? You can search. Do an do a, a investigation of the cart. Eight. <laughs> Alright. So you're kind of, you're trying, the cart's kinda of hitting some bumps and you kinda of... Worst night ever. <laughs> <laughs> what are your bats doing? I missed some dialogue there. <laughs> Which ones are they are they close to So uh, they are currently one of them's chasing the guy who started running away. Uh one of them can go up into the trees now because the one that was going to attack is dead, and then the one that Jokester is fighting is Let's the one them. that's being attacked. Let's start with one to attack the one running away. Okay. Eight. That does not hit, sir. Let's uh <laughs> have number two go after him. Okay. Same person? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> number two. Ten. That's not it, sir. You want number three to go after him? Let's go all three. Okay. What is number three, Mr. Jokester? Seventeen. Rough. That hit. Seventeen hits. <laughs> These bats are sucking. Well, you know, it's the first time being used. Give him a break. Four points of damage. <laughs> Plus, you gotta remember. Practice. Yeah, who's controlling them? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put a sock in it, Mike. I mean, burden. It's not like we call out your name at the beginning of every episode. 
yeah, in this episode, like an extra five times now. Two. Go to hell, sneak attack. <laughs> Two arrows. Lucky. Miss you. Um, from these guys that are up in the trees. Um, <laughs> so lucky the branches are there. No, make Doctor. it cool. Make it cool. Bounce them off your bracers. Like Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman the shit out of those arrows. Well, technically, these aren't bracers. Shut They'd up. Be more closer to to van braces because bracers are actually used for archers. So, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's <laughs> historically fact. Okay, can we move this along, please? <laughs> Power through it. So now that, power through it. Now that we can close Wikipedia here. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I'm gonna move the moonbeam. Okay to another enemy that's not engaged with somebody else. So it'll, I can do be, it with, it'll be the tree. I can move it up to 60 feet. So maybe the, the one that he's not climbing yeah. towards. Yep. Okay. So I'll move the moonbeam on top of that one. Okay. All right. So when his turn starts, then he will take the damage. Okay. Now the spiritual weapon, I can only move that 20 feet. So can I get that close to anyone? The one that's fighting him. So I'll move the spiritual weapon up to next to Mr. Jokester. Let him have it. Ooh, that's a 26 to hit. That hit? Dang. How's Jokester doing on health? Not good. He looks rough. Oh, that's so bad. Oof. Uh, four point, no, five points of damage. That's enough. Survive. Your orange raven rips the, the back of the guy's head apart. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh. Producer Ish. <laughs> no. Ow. Okay. God. For those of you who just heard a bleep, don't worry about it. <laughs> Is that all you do? Wow. Yes. Uh, I'll just move up so that I'm close to everybody else, so that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Burden. Yeah. After that, it'd be your turn. Sweet. You can uh, attack the, this guy. Excellent. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just straight up bare knuckle box, just punch him as hard as I can so that way hopefully he falls out of the tree. Okay. You're up in the tree with him? Yeah. Yes, he is. Oh, I missed a lot. <laughs> uh, dirty 22. All right, that's a hit. Ugh. Only hit him for four. All right. Oof. You're talking shit about my bat. So you punch him in the, the lower leg. <laughs> Jokester. Uh, is there anybody alive around me? Uh, the yes. guy that's running away will be the closest, for, and then you have the two guys up in the tree. And currently the guy running away has three giant bats flying around him. <laughs> How far away is he? He is currently 30 feet away. What's the distance on your bow? Those bats will finish oh. him off. And, and the one guy has a moonbeam on him that's in the tree. Oh. I have to go after the guy with the bats. Okay. Oh, wait. I have control. Yes, you do. So I'm going to sheathe these. Okay. Mm, mm. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna uh, take two. <laughs> gonna hit it. Put those away. <laughs> and uh, pull out my short bow. Aim for the one that the moonbeam is not on. Okay. You gotta do the rewind next time. <laughs> uh, steady aim. Uh, dirty twenty. All right, that's a hit. Nice. Eight points. All right. So as you shoot your arrow, hits him in the upper thigh. 
kind of screams out a little bit. Uh, let's see. Wait. How's that scream sound? Ah, oh, never mind. Ah! <laughs> 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 Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Made my night. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Guy running away. Huh? Bonus action just for the hell of it. I'm going to stealth. You used steady aim, didn't you? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm just staying put. Oh, lucky he caught that. Uh huh. Indeed. 18 <laughs> points to, to, to hit your bat. 18? Which hits. which one? Does it hit your giant bat? 18? Yeah. Okay. Doesn't need to know which one to take. Um, let's see. Yeah, they only have the 13. The second one. Bat number two. Bat number two takes seven points of damage. Okay. 28 left. As the guy slams a short sword up into it. Oh, he's going to pay. And he'll bring it to your turn. I need a weapon. <laughs> The other investigation check. again. Investigation. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> so, the the just, road's pretty rough. You just kind of bounce around. You have a hard time getting through these bags. It's the worst finds, night ever. <laughs> he finds a stick. I throw a stick at him. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a rock? <laughs> yeah, if you jump down off the cart. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Throw it at the guy that attacked my bat. Okay. Just a regular dex? Regular dex. Nine. <laughs> so you go you gotta throw it, bounces off a couple trees. <laughs> Take that. What you... <laughs> Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> Gonna have the bats attack him. Okay. Yeah. First one. Thirteen. Misses. Cocked. Thirteen. <laughs> Misses. Bat three. Ten. <laughs> so he, he's he's parrying these attacks with a short sword. He kind of ducks and weaves, gets underneath some branches. Bats just can't get to him. That's terrible. <laughs> it's the worst night ever. This guy will take a shot at Burden. Uh, that'd be a 19 to hit Burden. Yep. <laughs> Six points of damage. Yep. The other guy, natural 20 for a savings throw. So he takes half damage. So he takes four. All right. Uh, does he know? He does know. He's gonna do it. What's he gonna do? He's shooting at you. It you see him take out a black arrow. Oh. Notches it, aims at you. Shoots himself in the foot. 23. Ooh, that hits. Okay. Oh. oh. So, uh, what I need you to do is I need you to make a constitution savings throw. Natural 20. Oh. Nice. So 26 total. So you take four points of piercing damage, um, and you feel this grinding uh, as the arrow is trying to work its way from your shoulder to your heart. Oh. As it's just... Oh. Mm. So. That sounds painful. It is your turn. What would you like to do? So I grab the arrow instantly. Okay. And I try and pull it out. Okay. Do a strength check. Can we? Do we witness it? Ah, uh, you can see his back's turned to you. He's up in the tree, so you may. So roll perception. 
Twelve. Nah. <laughs> it's a natural one. Oh. Okay. oh. So your hand just slips right off the arrow. Oh no. <laughs> um. What else would you like to do? You have your bonus action. I don't know if I can get to anyone. The spiritual weapon can move twenty feet. So it can get closer to the one burdens fighting, or the one that's running away, or get it close to the moonbeam. I'll move it closer to the one that, uh, which is closer, the one in the moonbeam or the one that's fighting burden? The moonbeam is actually closer. Okay, I'll move it towards that one. Okay. 20 feet. All right. And I'll stay where I'm at. Okay. Uh, Burden. (sighs) It is your turn. I'm going to whip out my new axe. This time I'm going to do it right. Okay. I'm going to go for the leg that has the arrow in it. All right. In an attempt to get him to fall this time. Okay. And if my hit doesn't get him to fall, I guarantee you something else will. You know where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eleven. Does not hit. Dang. And so I say, oh, shoot. Thunder wave. All right, so activating the the axe, right? Yep. All right. Neither the tree nor him made the savings throw. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, wait, the, the tree? Oops. Bird <laughs> might be in a little bit of trouble here, fellas. You pissed off all the activists. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's a good roll. Uh, 13. 13. All right. So, the guy flies out of the tree. Ah! Oh. And the tree just kind of explodes at the same time. He you takes are fine. Claim more damage. it's actually above you. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> but the uh, guy falls stops making a noise before he hits the ground. Aww. <laughs> Uh-oh. I was hoping you'd roll fall damage. That's what I was about to ask. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was dead before that happened. <laughs> <laughs> dead before he hit the ground. <laughs> Incinerated. <laughs> nice kill, buddy. That's how good uh, So, uh, Jokester, uh-huh. it's your turn as you hear a loud clap of thunder behind you. <laughs> Yeah, we're tearing this forest to pieces. <laughs> Moonbeams, thunder clapping. Moonbeam doesn't start anything on fire, though, right? No, it's just radiant damage. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so, who's left alive? Uh, the guy running away. Oh, still Who's ahead. currently 60 feet away from you now. Uh, Short The bow. guy in the moonbeam, and that is it. Short bow to the... Uh, I'll go for the guy in the uh, moonbeam. Okay, so you turn around and hey, shoot. He, wasn't he in the tree, too? Yes, he is. That's why he couldn't get away from it. Okay. He killed the other one in the other tree, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, 24. That hits. Ooh, good hit, jokester. Now do some damage. Some I'm big old damage. certainly going to try. I know you can do it. You usually get lucky with these rolls. Oh, shut up. You can't do it on damage, just the other one. No, no, I was just, no, I was just straight up saying, you know, he normally rolls uh, yeah. seven. Seven? All right. He normally rolls high. Did you have advantage on that roll? I don't know. Did you steady I, aim? No. Then no. Okay. So, I'll bring it to the guy with bats. He will strike for the the same bat. He misses with a nine. Kind of shoots it up and bat kind of veers away. And that will bring it to your turn, Nocturnal. You and the bats. I'd like to look for my bow one more time. (laughs) Uh, Well, you can jump on the, the cart again. It's currently... Still going down the road, the little pathway, <laughs> and you stop to throw the rock, so you'd have to catch I'm up. I'm gonna throw them. another rock. Okay. The one the 
My bats are trying to kill. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen. All right. <laughs> you chuck another rock. Hits a couple more branches. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this is terrible. Let's go. All the bats. Okay. Same guy. Dan. <laughs> Stop laughing. Nat 20. All right. There you go. Thank God. <laughs> 16 total. All right. That was a good hit. Last bat. 22 to hit. Nice. Four points of damage. All right. Guy's hurting. All right. So as your bats, first one kind of misses them. Second two just start tearing them apart. With those claws and teeth. Um, that'd bring it to... Get them, my bats. Beam man. Let's see, he failed again. Dead. Probably. No, four points of damage. Oh, oh, oh. he's hurting though. Doesn't have another one. But. Yeah. He's thinking about it. 22, Doctor. That's a hit. Oh no. Hasn't been doubled yet. Four points of damage. And you need to do a constitution save for me. Twenty-five. Alright. It's getting closer, <coughs> but it's not quite there yet. It's close to your heart. And it'll be your turn. All right. Again, I try and pull it out. Okay. Said strength check. Yep. And this time I'm calling out. Jokester, do a perception check. Someone help, please. And you can do another perception check. 18. Okay. You see a black arrow in the doctor. And he's trying to pull it out. What did you roll? 11. Yeah, no. You still hold on to it, but you didn't pull it out. 15. You actually see him. Oof. I can tell he's in trouble. You can tell he's in trouble. All right, I'm moving the spiritual weapon closer to the one in the moonbeam. Okay. Has it gotten to him yet? So... That's 20 more feet. Let's see. Actually, yeah, it would have. All right, so then I will attack. Crap, I already used my accent search for today. <laughs> Dang it. That, I mean, that, that hits. Uh... What'd you call a... Uh... 25. Yeah, that hits. Nice. When I was doing uh, Overwatch Lookout, mm -hmm. is that considered a short rest? Yeah, I, I consider that you got a short rest out of that. Okay. 12. 12 points of damage. All right. So, as your raven comes smashing into his chest, he just kind of falls. Ah! Hits the ground. Right on a spike. <laughs> I'm just holding tight onto that arrow. He takes an additional 10 points of falling damage. Ooh. He's beyond gone. Oh. <laughs> Fatality. Now, um, it'll be Burden. You're up in the tree. And there's no one else up in the trees. Is nope. There? Okay, yeah. Nope. The, the last guy is, is running. He's got three giant bats on him. Uh, the doctor's calling out for help. I'm going to attempt to skillfully make my way down from the trees, very, you know, Kimberly and just yellow it. Try, try, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I've done that too many times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to get to the doctor as quickly as I can. It's on brand, though. Are you being careful or are you being quick? Quick. How about nimble roll, and quick? Roll uh, athletics for me. Oh, he's good at those. 18. All right. Yeah. So you come down with no issues. Um, but that that is your turn. Yep. So, Jokester. 
it's just the guy running away. Yep. Short bow, steady aim. Okay. Natural 20. Yes. Yes. Nice. <laughs> See, that's the kind of rolls I'm expecting from you. Um, 28 points of damage. Oh, God. So, as you, as you aim your fire, you fire, you let go of that, that bowstring, that arrow sinks into his chest, flies out the front side of him, oh. sticks into oh. a tree, and he oh. just crumbles. Oh. And the arrow goes... <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are now out of combat. <sighs> Will help with the arrow, please. Back to me. I've got you, doctor. Bats come back. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and uh, run towards the doctor, okay. just in case Burden can't. Yeah, in get case it the done. strong man can't get it out. Yes, we can take turns heaving and so pulling. So you can you can give him advantage on it if you're assisting. Okay. okay. So you have advantage. All right, excellent. So I'm gonna attempt to rip that out, doctor. Brace yourself. Bite down on an arrow. <laughs> Whew. 17. All right. So you pull it out. Uh, doctor, you take an additional five points of damage. Oh. It's like a drill tip arrow. It's, it's a heart seeker. Oh. That's dirty. So you Shit. pull it out. And it stops moving, and you're just you're just bleeding. It's a nice black arrow. This better not be your property. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. How much you want for it? Does it still work? It, yeah. Actually, give it to the jokester. He's the better archer, apparently. <laughs> yeah, when I have my bow, my long bow. Well, I'm sure we can find it around here somewhere. Just take it. This would be better in your hand. Take the arrow. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Thank you. What Is the cart still moving away? Yeah, the cart's still moving away. Let's About go. a quarter mile away. Is my gear still on it? Yes. Gotta chase it down. Okay. Dash. Okay. After you. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll follow after. See what they got. All right, see you Get guys. Get my stuff back. Chase, chase the cart down. Um, I think that will probably be a, a good stopping point. Did I catch it? Yes. Yeah, you chased it down. So we got to the Gra cart and scene. <laughs> grab, the, grab the reins and stop the ox. Okay. Is it oxen or whatever? Yes. So you, you stop the ox, and uh, we'll, that's where we'll pick up uh, next episode. Until next time, thank you for watching Super Cringe Roleplay. Mm -hmm. Well done, guys. Thank you for watching. Nice. <laughs> Super Cringe Roleplay. We're virgins for life. Thanks.